अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल पुडियान बोधते परित उन बोधते काटिने अरुणाचल पोकुं वरवुमिल पोदु वेली नीलरुल पोराटंकट अरुणाचल भौतिक मामुडल पत्रत्र नाल मुन भविष्य कंडुरवरुल अरुणाचल माले मरंदी डनी माले तेड़ो अरुल माले मरंदा योडेर अरुणाचल मानं कुंडुरुबवर मानते यारित भी मान मिला दोलेर अरुणाचल मिंजीडल किंजीडुं कुंजवरी वनियां वंजिया दरुले नहीं अरुणाचल मीगा मलिल्ला मल माकात्र लेकलं आगा मल कात्रुल अरुणाचल मुड़ी यड़ी कारना मुड़ी विड़ता नहीं नेर मुड़ी विड़ा कड़नी ले अरुणाचल मुखिलन मुन्गाटे मुहुरमगा देने तू किया नहीं दरुल अरुणाचल मैं यह तिंग मन मन मलरने ना मैं कलंदी डरुल अरुणाचल मैं मैं ट्रांड दिडूं मेल्ली अर्शे अर्दनी मैं मैं उठने यन अरुणाचल मैं मैं यानी तरुल मैं ये नालू न दूं मैं वशमा के नहीं अरुणाचल अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल नमः परमरिषिभ्यो नमः परमरिषिभ्या हरि ओम अंतरायत मेरोप शांति शांत बावन मचंति वही बम तन्नरम बपुषिकुंजरम मुखे मन महे कि मपितुंदिलम माम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्मयि श्री गुरवे नमः ईश्वरो गुरु रात्मिति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम वद व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणा मूर्तये नमः यस्य अंतन अधिमध्यम नहीं कर चरणम नामगोत्रम न सूत्रम नो जाते नहीं वरना न भवति पुरुषो न न पुम्सम न चस्त्री न आकारम नो विकारम नहीं जनि मरनम न अस्ति पुण्यम न पापम तत्त्वम नो तत्त्वमेकम सहज समरसम सदगुरुम तम नमामि सदा शिव समारंभाम शंकराचार्य मध्यम 
अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा मौन व्याख्या प्रकटित परब्रह्मतत्व युवान वर्षिष्ठा सदृशिगणरावृत ब्रह्मनिष्ठ आचार्येन्द्र करकलितचन्मुद्रनंदूप स्वात्म मुदित वनम दक्षिणाूर्तिमीडे वेदातासकाय यत शाताय सन्यासी नानावादीन केन्द्र संघपव योगींद्र वंद्याय मोहध्वाय भगवत्दाता बिभ्रते तस्म भाष्य नमोस्त सतत पूर्णा बोधात्म अपार सच्चिसुखवारीराशे योर्मात्र भुवन समस्त गुहाहिद तम रमण गभीर चिंता विहीन हृदय चिंतया देहम मृन्मय वज्जात्मकमहम बुद्धिर्न तस्तो नाहम तत्तुप्ति सिद्धात्म सद्भावता कोहम भावयुत कुत वरधिया दृष्टवात्मनिष्ठात्म सोहम स्फूर्तितया अरुणाचल शिव पूर्णो विभाति स्वयं करुणापूर्णसुधाधे कबलिदन विश्वकिणावल्या अरुणाचल परमात्म अरुणो भव चितकंजसु विसा वै अरुणाचल सर्व भूवा स्थि प्रलीन में तिम हृद्य मिथ्यात्मतया नृत्य सिभो ते वदी हृदय नाम अहमीतिगुत आयातीन्वेश्यांत प्रवेशयामगम्य स्व शाम्यतरुणाचल दीवाब्ध त्यक्वा विषय बाह्यम रुद्ध प्राणीन रुद्ध मनसास्वा ध्यान पश्यति योगी दीधि अरुणाचल महीय ते तयर्पित मनसा ता पश्यन सर्व तवाकृतया सतत भजते अनन्यप्रीत्या सजयतरुणाचल सुखे मग्न हृदय कुहर मध्य कवल ब्रह्मत्र ह्यमहमी साक्षा आत्मेण भाति हृदय विशमन सा स्व चिन्वता मज्जता वा पवन चलन रोधात्मनिष्ठो शोण प्रभं सोम कलावत सुरत्पंजशरेक्षु चाप प्राण प्रिय नौमी नाकपाणे कोणत्रियस्थम कुलदेवत नह नमा यामीनाथ लेखालंकृतकुतला भवानी भवसतापनिर्वापण सुधा नदी चूडोत्तम सितचंद्रचारुकलिका चंजत्शिखा भास्व लीलाद्ध विलोल काम शलभश्रेयो दशाग्रे स्फुर अंतस्फूर्जदारोहतिरप्राग्भारमुच्चाड़न चेत सदमनियोगिना विजयते ज्ञान प्रदीपो हरहांत प्रवेश मम वाच मं प्रसुप्ता संजीवयतखिल शक्तिधर स्वधा नाम अन्या सहस्रचरणश्रवणगादीन प्राणन्नमो भगवते पुषा तोभ्यम अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचला अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचला अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव 
ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಶಿವ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಶಿವ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಶಿವ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಪಟ್ಟಿಮಾಲ್ ವಿಡಂತಲೈ ಉಚ್ಚಿರು ಮುನಂ ಅರುಳ್ ಪಟ್ಟಿಡ ಅರುಳ್ ಪುರಿ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಪಾರ್ತರುಳ್ ಮಾಲರ ಪಾರ್ತಿಲಯ್ಯನಿನ್ ಅರುಳ್ ಪಾರುಣ ಕಾರ್ ಶುಲ್ವರ್ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಪಿತ್ತು ವಿಟ್ಟು ನೈನೇರ್ ಪಿತ್ತನಾಕಿನೈ ಅರುಳ್ ಪಿತ್ತಂ ತೆಳಿ ಮರಂದರುಣಾಚಲ ಭೀತಿಯಿಲ್ ಉನ್ನೈ ಶಾರ್ ಭೀತಿಯಿಲ್ಲೆನ್ನೈ ಶೇರ್ ಭೀತಿ ಉಂದನಕ್ಕೇನ್ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಶಿವ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಶಿವ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಶಿವ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಪಾರ್ತರುಳ್ ಮಾಲರ ಪಾರ್ತಿಲಯ್ಯನಿನ್ ಅರುಳ್ ಪಾರುಣಕ್ ಆರ್ ಶುಲ್ವರ್ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ತ್ರೀ ಅರುಳ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಪಾರ್ತರುಳ್ ಮಾಲ್ ಅರ ಪಾರ್ತಿಲಯ್ಯನಿನ್ ಅರುಳ್ ಪಾರ್ ಉನಕ್ಕೆ ಯಾರ್ ಶುಲ್ವರ್ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಟೂ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಸೇ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಟು ಈಶ್ವರ ದಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗೇಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಆನ್ ಮೀ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೈ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರಿಮೂವ್ಡ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರಿಮೂವ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಫಿನಾಮನ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪೆಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಟ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಲುಕ್ ದ ಇನಿಷಿಯೇಷನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪೆಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೆನಿ you can see in the stories of devotees who arrived to see bhagwan how that magic of the look worked that kataksha that is why when they go to a temple it is a general tradition that you have to stand in the sides this kadaksha means from this side the look in bhagwan samadhi also practically we have to stand that the pillar is there you know both sides if we stand there we will not cover people behind but generally when we our bhakti comes we just forget who is there behind and peop, devotees will be sitting there looking at bhagwan's lingam some devotees will come and stand there for minutes without moving and no one can see from behind so that is a practical thing when bhagwan's direct devotees like vishnath swami they used to say there is a photo of bhagwan where he will be keeping his hand like this in the chin and be looking back side ganeshana gave me such a photo and said this is the photo that many of the direct devotees like vishwanath swami they loved we used to sit always in the back side on the side giving place to new devotees and bhagwan will look at us his fa- look will fall at us by this this way of looking 
keeping his hand there in the chin and looking at us and that one look of bhagwan is to initiate chatur diksha nayana diksha and diksha means that one look you become his it is it is innumerable stories are there the whole world becomes insignificant the moment you are initiated by bhagwan's look anishana wanted me to tell a story about venkatesh shastri whom they all used to call as shastri mama he was very close with him i have not seen him in bhagwan samadhi also used to assist in puja and behind the spiritual search there will be always in the seed form there will be the fuel of sorrow either in this birth or in the former birth certain sages like bhagwan we don't see any sorrow happening in this birth but they carry abundant data of sorrow in their being in buddha's life also we see that we don't know he might have undergone many suffering we do not know but he found that there is suffering and there is solution in bhagwan's case he called it death that's all suffering is death and the solution is investigate what it is and you find there is no death it is impossible to die the very nature of the self is deathlessness existence to know this only you need a master to confirm that there is no death you are the immortal self shrinvantu vishve amritasya putraha aaye dhamani divyani tasthuh vedaham etam purusham mahantam aditya varnam tamasah parastat the shweta ashvatara upanishad the sage proclaims with so much ecstasy vishve all over the world whoever is there in the world let them listen and also the gods who are there in the heaven let them also listen a ye dhamani divyani tasthu those who stay in the heaven the divine worlds they also are suffering due to ignorance so let them also listen amritasya putraha he says i am calling you as the children of immortal bliss and the what is the news the news is aham veda i have come to realize the deathless self vedaham etam purusham that parama purusha he shines forth in the heart more splendorous than the sun no darkness darkness is gone tamasaf parastat this compassionate clarion call was given by all the sages 
And Bhagavan did not verbally do it, but his very presence invited the seekers. It is just like as Ramakrishna says, you put a drop of honey, you need not give a phone call to the ants. They will come there. No letter, no notice, nothing is needed. They will come there. We don't know how they get the information. The flower blossoms, honey becomes. So it is bound to happen. When there is the story in Buddha's story, when he attained that state, after so much struggle, the bliss was so inviting that he refused to speak and go out and tell others. He just kept quiet, sitting there, gazing at that tree. the Bodhi tree. And the story in the Buddhist text is that they say a Devata came. A divine being came before him. The name of the divine being is Brahma Sampati Devata. What is that? That is what they call The Brahma Sampati Devata came. And that Brahma Sampati Devata said, you have to go and speak about your realization. Something very rare has happened. You have to go and present yourself amidst seekers. Then Buddha said, that is meaningless because it needs immense sincere seeking to attain this. Only when you are thoroughly convinced that there is sorrow in the world and you also have the intuition that there is solution, the conviction that you get about the grief, the sorrow, the suffering in the world, what we call in Vedanta as Vairagyam. That intense Vairagyam cleanses the entire personality of all the dross. It makes the person absolutely sincere. Then your spiritual quest will not have any protruding thread in it of desire, of desire for fame or recognition or anything else. You won't care for such nonsense, name, fame, nothing. The quest will be absolutely enforced by the thirst for release freedom. That kind of force was there in me. If someone has that kind of force in him, he will find it. Why should I go and tell? If that kind of sincerity is not there, that kind of force is not there, there is no use in going and telling them. They will not understand. I hope you have not forgotten who is telling this Buddha, the story. <laughs> so that Brahma Santpati Devata, we don't know whether that Devata is he or she, that Devata told Buddha, there are people who neither belongs to this supreme class, nor are they very low. Those who with little dust in their eyes. This is the usage. This is there in Bhagavad Gita also. Hmm? Gita Krishna says three type of avarana. One is like 
smoke covering the fire the second is like dust covering the mirror the third is like placenta covering the fetus if it is like smoke covering the fire if you make the fire blaze forth it will naturally settle down you need not touch the smoke like that for such kind of aspirants only attention in jnana is enough no effort is needed to remove the obstacle because no obstacle is that obstacle is not that serious it is just like bhagwan and bhagwan's teaching also is like that pay attention directly to the center the circumference does not exist and the second is like a dust covering the mirror you have to just clean it a little bit effort is needed and the third no effort will be useful because it is like placenta covering the fetus you have to wait till the delivery happens you have to wait patiently till the egg hatches they have to come out and the right time the mature time you cannot force if you force it will be aborted so you cannot do anything you have to wait that is the third kind of thing so this brahma sampati devata said you have to walk the earth for the sake of this middle class people they are neither here nor there they are just waiting to listen they are just waiting to get varta that is the word that they use varta the information jnana sandesha hmm? jnana sandesha let the sandesha go let the information go they will wake up they have to just get this knowledge then they wake up they are just ready to wake up they are not deep in sleep yoga vasishta has the, the same kind of shloka natyantam agnyo no tatnya sosmin shastre adhikaraman he is neither intensely ignorant nor completely wise he is in a kind of middle state where just you snap your finger he will wake up a touch is needed then he will wake up and realize that's all so for such people bhagwan presented himself day and night night also vaikuntha vasar one of bhagwan's attendant perhaps this period of the year when trivarnamale also becomes cool hmm? the winter time sometimes very cold so he was about to close the door that is 12 o'clock or something in the night bhagwan said don't close sometimes you know the jivan mukta purusha he is not a person the moment you make a mistake of seeing him as a person it is just like misapprehending a rope as a snake staying with him slowly you, you will see that it is not staying with a person and you have to learn to respond to that presence with your whole being why i am saying this is sometimes bhagwan will say today Uh, 30 people will come cook and those who are cooking in the kitchen they will say no bhagwan today is week days only 12 10 are here why should we unnecessarily waste sometimes they will use the intellect but they will find correct time 30 people will be there after some experience they start understanding that you cannot ignore bhagwan we don't know how he says it is not that he will predict everything no 
it is just like something is reflected sometimes he naturally will say one day anamale swami said there is nothing to cook half a kilo of rava kena solvo english la rava dhan podra bolru kelliya eh i am ailen or like i'm not able to listen some grains was there a little bit of it half a kilo and uh, some 30 people or some was there what can we do bhagwan said bhagwan silently said put the vessel in the f- fire and he poured water first he started frying the rava and uh, they thought how this will be sufficient for so many devotees he started doing and suddenly a bullock cart entered ashram and some devotee has come sacks after sacks of the same material and sufficient for all this magic this miracle is the yoga kshema shakti of the world as bhagwan from bhagwan standpoint bhagwan says it is arunachala varundidum talai vidhi arunachala it is arunachala's power it is ishwara's power shankaracharya and shivananda lahari says you have taken the responsibility of looking after me yoga kshema dhurandharasya sakala shreya pradodyoginah what should i give you what should i tell you about my problems you know everything so that kind of absolute surrender is there so in that silence miracles will happen so night 12 o'clock vaikuntha vasar wanted to close the door because the wind was so forceful so powerful bhagwan said don't close why bhagwan it is very chill outside bhagwan said some devotee will come night 12 o'clock says some devotee will come and if they find the doors closed they might go back sometimes they will come the train will arrive by 2 o'clock in the night and they will get down and get some bullock cart and come to ashram so that kind of waiting that kind of waiting is what we call as compassion when buddha started moving like this they call this they say the wheel of compassion was set in motion the wheel of compassion so that wheel of compassion makes a jivan mukta live in the world stay in the world and keep the teaching alive and sometimes teaching is not needed a look is enough the devotee about whom we are going to speak today venkatesha shastri many old devotees will know him he used to assist in bhagwan samadhi and very easily you can mistake him as a second grade priest assistant priest but he was a very scholarly person a knowledgeable yogi and he was a cousin a distant cousin a relative of bhagwan in his younger days i spoke all this because he had that sorrow in the background in his younger days he had to suffer a lot due to the torture of his stepmother as it happens with many stories in his very childhood he had to suffer even his hand was burnt 
in the cooking fire she thrust his hand in the fire then father his father took him to kerala put him in a school in a sanskrit school where he learned some shastras then he studied under one of the prominent astrologer from the royal family he studied astrology jyotish shastra and prashna it's all say it's it's a um kind of prediction it is actually called daivagnya tantra it means knowing the will of god that is prashna actually so that kind of astrology he learned and he performed miraculous findings through his astrology and earned a lot of money he could have earned a lot of money more but what to do at that time he saw bhagwan he heard about bhagwan from one of his relatives he and his wife vishalakshi whom they used to call as shala mami they came to trivarnamalai and when they arrived this parthrul of bhagwan this one look of bhagwan initiated him he was a very scholarly person and had great uh, confidence in his astrological predictions but the moment he saw that brahma with a nova of brahman is brahman it is not that simply is a nova so when he saw one look of bhagwan parth arul that gaze initiated him immediately and after that some days when he was staying and having a walk with bhagwan he asked bhagwan bhagwan i can predict many things to perfection so astrology was also re- revealed by sages so is it not a good science can we not make it perfect bhagwan simply looked at him and said you know the upanishad says brahma vidya sarva vidya pratishtha the upanishad says the knowledge of the self brahma vidya is the supreme because of it all other knowledge becomes alive satyasya satyam the world appears to be true because the truth is in you as your self the light of the self makes the appearance look real anything becomes real because of the reality in you when you touch it becomes real so it is your vision that makes it real it is your tapas that it makes it real the science of all sciences the supreme knowledge is the knowledge of the self when he heard this from bhagwan that is all no more delusion about anything else in the world such a successful practitioner of astrology soon gave up everything and came to trivarnamalai ganeshana used to narrate many stories about his predictions without even seeing who the person his client is coming before that he will tell his wife such a person is coming he has such and such a problem tell him the solution is this he will be doing puja he will say that that kind of psychic power he had he surrendered everything to bhagwan 
बिकॉज भगवान सेट द नॉलेज ऑफ द सेल्फ इज पूर्ण इट इज कंप्लीट यू नीड नॉट डेबल विथ एनी अदर साइकिक पावर्स एनी नॉलेज इज ए शॉर्ट सर्क्यूट एनी अदर नॉलेज so put the mind back to the source and become quiet shanta and he did it and i was very close with him and his wife vishala akshi shala mummy they used to go round the hill every day and he lived in adiyanamalai and many of the old devotees used to call him as adiyanamalai shastri he used to stay there of course even then his power to predict was very powerful he has helped many devotees who came to ashram like with that his own son who was very young passed away in very young age he predicted that he prepared his wife for that to keep herself detached so that kind of power was there in him and his knowledge of bhagwan's teaching was also very profound and one word from bhagwan and one look parth arul one look from bhagwan initiated him and also his wife her shala mami was like maitreyi to yagnyavalkya when he came to trivarnamale he told exactly like the upanishad where yagnyavalkya tells maitreyi i will give you all my wealth you can have all comforts i am going as a parivrajaka as a mendicant she said i don't want this wealth because you are leaving it and going in search of something else so i know that this wealth cannot give you bliss happiness न वित्त न तर्पणीयो मनुष्य सो आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट दैट देन याज्ञवल क्या जस्ट हाग्ड हर एंड सेड अरे ये मैत्रेयी ओ मै बलवर्ड यू आर नाउ मोर डियर टू मी बिकॉज यू आस्ट मी दिस क्वेश्चन आत्मनस्तु कामाय सर्व प्रियम भवती एवरीथिंग बिकम्स डियर टू ए पर्सन फॉर द सेक ऑफ द सेल्फ wife is not dear because she is my wife she is dear to me for the sake of the self husband is not dear because he is the husband but because for the sake of the self atmanastu kamaya sarvam priyam priyam bhavadi the most beloved thing is your own self and find out what is the nature of the self न पत्यु कामाय पति प्रियो भवति आत्मनस्तु कामाय पति प्रियो भवति न जायाये कामाय जाया प्रिया भवति आत्मनस्तु कामाय जाया प्रिया भवति दिस काइंड ऑफ ए डायलॉग हैपेंड बिटवीन वेंकटेश्वर शास्त्री एंड विशालाक्षी अर ही सेड आई विल गिव यू मनी यू स्टे शी सेड नो आई विल आल्सो फॉलो यू she was also initiated by bhagwan not by word not by anything but bhagwan's look and they lived lived a very very simple life simple in the sense they had no money you have to know how they lived they lived in a very simple house where ganeshana as a boy will go there and uh, shastri will, will tell tell his wife ganeshan vandruka ganesha has come give him something to eat and from inside she will say oh no illa nothing is there to give he will understand in that state they were very contented fulfilled and and i wanted me to tell only one anecdote one incident 
last days when he was physically suffering his head leg was completely affected he could not move his leg in severe pain then he was so attached he went there and crying he said oh mama you are kal in tamil we say kal kal also means one fourth hmm? so he said your kal your leg is in such a condition then he made a pun of that word he said kal eduku paakre mukkala paaru why do you want to see the one fourth see the three fourth the entire body is only one fourth it is like a iceberg inside there is an everest like that the body is only one part of the experience it is very very insignificant you turn inward and see the i the i am within then you find that a deep ocean is there within a profound existence is there within and such alertness was there in them even in the death bed they all got that experience by bhagwan's look there was another devotee shivaram reddy ar about ganesha has written his story is he was very attached to his wife in a very young age he was married and she died when he was only 20 years and he could not endure it with tremendous suffering somebody gave him advice go for bharata parikrama he started walking entire india entire bharat he walked and met many saints he could not find his sorrow was not assuaged after so much austerity he arrived in trivandamalai and was staying in arunachaleshwara temple every day going round the hill one day he saw in ramanashram his own uncle in the flower garden he said what is what are you doing here then he narrated his story sorrow that sad story then he took him to bhagwan so much suffering that he had everything was washed clean by one look of bhagwan later on he said my love for my wife everything remained same but the sorrow element was removed that sorrow was removed the pain was removed that is the power of a jeevan muktas look that is why the bhagavata says you go and worship all the stones in all the temple you take dip in all the waters in the all the rivers you might get purified through many years but one look of a jnani purifies you instantaneously nahi ammayani teerthani na deva mrichilamaya te punanti urukalena darshana deva sadhava this is there in ulladana arpada anubandham also in tamil tamil uh, in a part eh? kanmayamam teerthangal kalmannam devangal hmm? they all purify you after so many years but the moment you see a sage a realized to be a saint that very moment you are purified by that look that amrita drishti parthul malara parthilayenin o bhagwan if your look does not fall on me parunakkar shalvar arunachala i have come to you as a mad person pittu vittu the worldly madness i have given up now the divine madness has come over me pittanakina you have made me mad arul pittam teli marundu arunachala sometimes this look can make you mad one day chaitanya mahaprabhu was in an ecstatic state in samadhi he was dancing and with so much 
ಭಾವ ಹಿ ಫೆಲ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥಪುರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಫಿಶರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಜಂಪ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಟ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟುಕ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಔಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಟಚ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಕೊರೋನಾ after that he forgot everything he started jumping hare ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare so much bhava came to him his whole body was affected his mind was affected he was in ecstasy after two days three days his wife came to chaitanya deva she told swami ji a great problem has come no food in our house what happened is it because of you you fell in the sea and my husband jumped and took you out now he is dancing day and night not only he whoever try to rescue him they also got it and our whole village is full of dancing mad people so much of shakti pata you know it's a very rare phenomenon sometimes ramakrishna used like that had that kind of energy in him so what to do chaitanya said the only way to cure this disease is go to a worldly person's house a person who is a businessman who thinks only about money and worldly life ask him to get a uh, fist full of rice from his house cook that and give him his bhakti will be gone and this lady went to such a house a very rich person got some rice cooked it and gave bhakti went away so easy chorasyanam <laughs> this <laughs> some food you know when you get it from impure persons your spirituality will walk away so this madness spiritual madness is a rare blessedness the worldly madness is taken away unai ner pittan bhagwan says i have become mad after you o arunachala unai ner pittana ki nai now you pour your grace on me pittam teli marund arunachala give me the medicine to cure this madness to heal me of this madness to remove this madness i need your realization when muruganar came to bhagwan bhagwan's one look he said the whole body is on fire tirutu kutam he said all group of thieves they are plundering people of all their desires he asked bhagwan how your mother bore you for 10 months i cannot look at you for 10 minutes tirukkannokam mm-hmm. pittanakkinayan arunachala pittam teli marund arunachala ramanan kanda alave adiyen eh adiyen kandanan meye in one of his songs he says the moment ramana's i the his look fell on me i saw truth kanda alave adiyen kandanan meye the moment he looked at me i saw satyam truth shavanilai tandan sati maayai shalakku oliya he says he gave me that deathless state by his one look and maya was removed no more maya 
that one look he bestowed on me that deathlessness so that look is the medicine we have not found out such medicine now we have found out medicine which can be given through the mouth ent also nose ears hmm? something can be infused into you intravenous everything can be done vaccination but the doctor looks at you you will be healed such medicine has not come and that medicine is the medicine of shiva shiva vishvasya bhesha ji he is the greatest physician his look can heal you when his look falls at you on you it can heal you it can purify you so i have come to you arunachala fearlessly shamelessly i have come to you why are you afraid to accept me be the ill uneshar be the ill enneshar be the undanukku en arunachala be the means fear be the ill unai you are fearlessness be the ill unai you are fearlessness what is ishvara sakshatkara atmagnana fearlessness the moment the i is gone dvaita buddhi is gone fear is gone <coughs> abhayam we come to the master to get abhayam fearlessness when bhagwan was about to drop his body devotees were going in a queue <coughs> one devotee narayana iyer he suddenly felt a A, a fear possessing him because he felt oh, bhagwan is there that kind of comfort was there suddenly a fear caught hold of him bhagwan will leave his body whom will i hold on to and he wrote in a paper bhagwan abhayam abhayam give me fearlessness give me fearlessness a refuge and put that paper on bhagwan bhagwan somehow took that paper and looked at it and said it is given he just said it's given in telugu he said it's given abhayam and bhagwan tells arunachala once you tell me be fearless then i will be fearless anjal endre arul arunachala because the very nature of this realization is absolute fearlessness anjuvadi yadondrum illai anja varuvadum illai namanayum anjum rudavakar sir devaram he says i there is nothing to fear even the god of death we will not fear be the ill your very nature is fearlessness arunachala i am also fearless emboldened to come to you and now arunachala is little bit hesitant to accept me bidi undanuke naruna chala bhagwan is asking why you are afraid why should you fear thing is remove the fear from the heart fearlessness is your nature fearless are you granting abhaya to all devotees stricken with fear i free of fear seek to unite with you but why are you afraid to become one with me arunachala be the undanukki en arunachala bhagwan is asking arunachala why are you afraid just 
a devotee's freedom he is asking the thing is when i am one with you there is no fear when there is two there is fear bhitir naam dvitiyat bhavati dvitiyat vai bhayam bhavati where there is two there is fear the other always generate fear fear is not simply fear alone every desire everything is fear envy is fear anger is fear desire is fear jealousy is fear attachment is fear aversion is fear the other is fear dvitiyat vai bhayam bhavati fearlessness is realization you can call realization in another name with another name synonym is fearlessness no more fear during bhagwan's time and bhagwan was staying in pachayaman kovil it was the plague time everywhere there was that disease no peri solvale paravi irukirathu a pandemic epidemic was there so much so at that time the military people were there to serve and they also will be afraid so they have to go from the road to the temple pachayaman kovil to stay they were staying there bhagwan was also staying there they will all, they will be having gun and all those things with them but in those days there will be leopards cheetah also in between so these military men they will tell bhagwan swami please come with us we are afraid please follow us to the road and bring us back from the road to the temple with all gun everything they are not afraid about human being they are afraid about leopards or cheetah so bhagwan will do that another madman was dealing with another business and that is sheshadri swami people called him mad saint of tiruvannamalai pittan pittu vittu nayanar he used to behave like a madman and when the dead bodies were carried in a cart to the cremation ground there also the cart driver will be afraid there also this saint very energetically was doing that business driving the cart with all his head with a turban and driving the cart and uh, taking the dead body to the cremation ground that he will be doing because those who want to live they will be afraid about death jeevite marane va ghritim ma karshi shankaracharya says neither be attached to life nor to death then you are absolutely fearless not afraid about anything when that kind of fearlessness is there you are not afraid of sometimes you know you will be afraid about events that might happen in life the psychological affectation of fear is there that also must be removed because the very dvaita is fear whether is fear of individuals whether is fear of events whether is fear of emotion 
sometimes people are afraid to sleep because they are afraid about dreams i don't want to sleep because if i sleep a dream comes so fear in every realm must be removed abhayam pratishtham vindate upanishad says he gets established in fearlessness that kind of fearlessness you see only in a sage or that fearlessness is the sign of a realized sage there is a anecdote recently i read formerly also i have read it but now i remember because of that that swami vivekananda when he was walking in the street somewhere in america a mad bull came rushing towards them and some women devotees lady devotees they were in, in front and when they saw the bull suddenly they started screaming he just pushed them back and stood in front the bull came very near him stood there and looked at him and calmly went away this is the story and the devotee who wrote this she is also an american she writes he stood without as if frozen as if he has seen his master that kind of devotion they had so that unconcern about one's physical protection that is one kind of fearlessness we see in sages absolutely fearless be the ill unaishar but to come to bhagavan ishwara also you should be fearless abhaye bhaya darshana godapadacharya says some people are afraid of god afraid to ap- approach sages if you go there they will catch hold of you so bhidi il unaishar bhidi bhagwan is fearlessness but when you go to him why should you be afraid you are erasing your individual sense there also fear comes as we saw the story of major chadwick where he told bhagwan there is a fear fear in me bhagwan when i meditate i i encounter a fear that many devotees many spiritual seekers will experience a meaningless fear and when he said bhagwan said that for that also same medicine he said find out who is afraid ask who is afraid because the fear happens to the individual the ego the i ask who is afraid who is this i what is this i solve it swallow that fear consume that fear be finished with it then you can say be the ill and nai i also i am also fearless share you have to become one with me you have to become one with me you and i are one there is no two there is absolute fearlessness abhayam and that abhayam is jnana abhayam is sakshatkara abhayam is realization when that absolute fearlessness comes we will be inwardly settled we can when fear comes we have to look at the fear it's, it's one form of 
Mumukshutva. You see, in Bhagwan's life, fear is the beginning of realization. Fear of death. In his case, the fear was there, but he decided to encounter fear. We feel this fear of death will surface in every seeker's life in one form or the other. When you start meditating, genuinely trying to enter the center, the heart, sometimes or the other, this fear underneath will surface. You will encounter the fear. And the inner being will assist you to transcend it, to go beyond it, it is certain. That fear is needed because you need an energy to renounce. You need an energy to push the mind to the source. If that fear does not arise, you will not give up many shallow pursuits. About Buddha, they used to say Bhava Bhiru and Shakya Simha, two names. One name, he says, he is a Bhiru Ngritikana Charva. Hmm? Covered. He is a covered. He was afraid of suffering, samsara. And Shakya Simha, he is a lion of the Shakya lineage, they say. Both for the same person. He is afraid. You should be genuinely afraid. Sometimes, you know, the Bhagavan's fear is not a fear like that some dog attacks and you are afraid and you run. No, the fear arises as an initiatory energy inside. This can happen to any yogi in one day or a day. Other you will find it. It will blaze forth inside you. And you have to go beyond it. When you see that everything is unreal, evanescent, whatever you are holding to will ebb away from you. then the feeling that follows is fear. E when that fear comes, I there are only two roads to travel. Either you will become mad or you will become enlightened. The point is same. The center is same. Either you will transcend the mind or you, or you will succumb to the mind. But certainly this fear is needed to initiate you in Brahma Vidya. In Bhagavan's case, it singularly manifested as fear of death. For many of us, it manifests in many ways, like fear of losing money, fear of losing health, fear of separation, fear of losing one's prestige. Many, many things, innumerable forms, it manifests. Can you collect the entire thing? Bhayam ashritya yateta. Somewhere it comes in a Vedantic test. It says, use this fear as a fuel. Because you need some energy unless you have some genuine energy. It is not that you read some book and 
from tomorrow onwards i want self realization after that what will you do i will become a guru how many days it will take to realize the self many people ask bhagwan how many days i have come putting leave for one month in this one month i have to realize and go back if possible give up my job and make a living out of this so that kind of sometimes he will catch hold of you then you are gone the genuineness comes from real suffering in some form when you intensely see it's just like you put rice in a cooker or in a vessel in cooker it is not needed generally in a vessel when you put rice to boil a single grain you take and test whether it is cooked like that one emotional experience can give you an intuitive wisdom about what is waiting everywhere so once you see that there is fear everywhere then a resolution happens within to be absolutely fearless to finish this inner trouble to settle in the heart to have real rest in the beingness vishranti ma asadhya turiya talpe so to have vishranti means to have rest in the inner center that kind of resolution force a tremendous will indomitable will arises that is what happened with bhagwan in few minutes one dimension there was blazing fear on another dimension there was deep quest and the energy of fear pushed the mind deep down into the heart and the mind came out after absolute enlightenment fully soaked in realization there was no need to take a second dip that one dip was enough that one dip was full that one dip made the person purna whole as bhagwan says i wanted to taste you but you swallowed me i came near you to see what you are made of but you just that fire of arunachala finished me off no more duality no more dvaita the fear is no more there and there is oneness with arunachala bhiti il unai shar bhiti il enai sher bhiti un tanukken arunachala now neither do i have fear nor you have fear you are fearlessness i am also fearless because i have ceased to exist in this absolute oneness is absolute fearlessness arunachala abhayam when you come to god that is what you get abhayam fearlessness don't fear no more fear that is ishwara anugraha we will continue tomorrow the same time two more days or three more days or two more hmm? two more days aruna chala shiva arunachala shiva 
अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल नवो नवो यो विलसत्यजस्रम पुमान पुराणो निखिलात्मभूत तम काल काल पिपूर्ण भात्मनाथ रमण भजा तम काल काल पिपूर्ण भाव त्वात्मनाथ रमण भजा त्वात्मनाथ रमण भजा त्वात्मनाथ रमण भजा यमात्मसी तथो न वाच्यम मम किंचिदस्त यथातवेष्टम कुरु मं तथा तां आत्मनाथम रमण भजामि